Hello and welcome. This is Gupta Shara from the Digital Teacher dot in. This time I am going to present you a simple pendulum in action. I mean, when it oscillates, what are the forces acting on it, and how they are explained? Okay. Now I am going to show you the action of the simple pendulum. The simple pendulum is nothing but a bob. Of a pendulum tied to a string attached and falling uh, and moving or uh, oscillating from one end to the other end. Now the bob of the simple pendulum is at one end of the oscillating period, and we will make it move. Play. So this is the direction along which the pendulum oscillates. Okay. Now let us see how the forces. What are the forces acting on it? So I click here. You will see the pendulum. Uh, the pendulum will hide behind, and you will be seeing only the forces acting on it along with the movement. We will stop at one end and see what are the acting forces, and in the middle and along the other line. So now, now you see. You, the bob of the simple pendulum is hidden at this point. Okay, I am pausing it for your benefit. So here is the bob of the simple pendulum, and the forces acting on it are the mg. Force is nothing but the mass of the simple pendulum and the acceleration due to gravity acting downwards. And this is the uh, reaction or the tension of the string, which a which. Mm, okay, now. When it moves, what happens? As you see, the speed or uh, the vector uh, force on uh, the x-axis will go on decreasing as it comes to the center, and the mass will be at uh, the force of attraction towards the gravity will be directly towards the center, uh, towards the ground at at when it is at the Center, center position, or the mean position. I'll click it at the mean position. Okay, let us see. So let us uh, initialize. Okay, now this is the mean position. Okay, now let us see. Uh, now, see now here. The normal reaction and or uh, the tension of the string and the force balance each other at this mean position. Now, when it goes at one end, let us see. Now I'll reset it and so that at one end, okay, this force. Comes to zero and and it it the, uh, the angular velocity you can see you can call it they call it omega the angular velocity becomes zero at one end and again when it moves to the other end it goes on increasing at the center it will be maximum and to the other end when it comes to the other end it will be zero again so it goes on moving uh, oscillating uh, uh, in its own uh, way. Okay, this is how the simple pendulum is explained. Okay, thank you so much. I am pausing it and then stopping the share. And for any other details, please contact the digital teacher dot in.